here we're having a BQ uh, M10 tablet, 10 inch screen tablet um, that's running Ubuntu. Um, on this screen we see what we call scopes, which is an information surfacing framework um, that allows you, instead of just having a grid of app icons, it puts information right in, in front of your face uh, when you look at it. This today's scope aggregates information um, that's relevant for you today. It has your calendar entries, it has weather and, and other interesting information um, that you might be interested in. Um, individual scopes are providing in, um, data sources. And so, for example, here the weather channel is aggregated into a nearby scope, so it's a location-based scope. But we can actually go to the, to the weather channel scope and you see today's weather forecast um, and also branding elements which are important for content providers. Um, and there's a large long list of scopes that are pre-installed and available um, and then there's even more you can add. Scopes from an implementation perspective are really easy to implement and fun. Um, you can do this in JavaScript or C++ or QML um, and um, it's, it's very trivial to get your experience right here onto that front screen, the real estate, the most expensive real estate um, of a device. Um, we do have <clears throat> another scope that pulls local data um, about all the installed apps. Um, so here you see like the most frequently used apps, contacts, camera, browser, and clock, uh, as well as other apps that are on the system. Um, and at the very bottom, we see the launcher for the Ubuntu App Store that allows you to install more apps. Even. Um, what's special about this device is um, a feature that we call convergence. Um, and it usually allows you to have, instead of a, a single window full screen mode experience, it allows you to have, um, use your tablet in a, in a multitasking setting where we all of a sudden have windowed mode. So I'm going to turn that on here. Um, this can also be activated by pairing and unpairing um, periphery, um, which at the show which is circumvent by using that knob. As you can see, the, the user interface turns into a windowed mode. Now, if we go and launch an application like the browser, for example, it will be in a separate window and all of a sudden you can do multitasking workloads right there on your tablet by pairing a keyboard or a mouse. Um, in this mode, considering the the available screen real estate. It is also feasible then to start apps that we know from a regular Ubuntu desktop, um, like LibreOffice, which is a desktop application. It's not tailored for a mobile device um, like the M10. But um, as you can see, the app um, comes up and is, is fully usable. Um, very performantly yeah. on the device. In this view, we see what we call the app switcher. So it's a carousel of, of running apps and allows you to switch between apps or you know dismiss apps. So here we see the same user interface. Again, um, Ubuntu running on a mobile phone. In this case, it's a Google Nexus um, from about 2012. So it's a rather dated device. Um, we like it because it's our developer reference device. Um, similar user interface, um, just slimmed down for the purpose of this demo. Um, we have again the app scope and another scope um, active. Um, and what I want to show you here is another big feature of convergence where we have a relatively small screen device um, and run a couple of applications um, that are useful in, in a, a phone mode. However, um, our vision of, of the next step of um, personal computing is that those devices, which are really powerful, will replace uh, laptops and other personal computers um, in the future. 
Um, so traveling to an event, um, you will not carry your laptop, but carry your powerful small computing device and connect to periphery that's provided by in a hotel or in a coffee shop. So specifically a, a display or um, keyboard and mouse. And so as part of the convergence experience, uh, what I'm going to show you is now connecting the device to an HDMI um, screen through Slimport connection in this case. And um, as you can see, the device turns itself into a touch screen. And all of a sudden, we have a full windowed um, experience, and I can use the phone screen now as an input device um, and, and work in a desktop setting on all the apps. Um, the user interface um, is consistent with, consistent with what I've shown you before, so we still have the launcher on the left side, um, the app switcher on the right side, um, and the indicators on top, um, as previously shown. So you, your user experience is, is the same um, as you have it on the phone, just in a large screen 